Welcome back folks, let's play Pokemon Green. In the last episode, we done a... Well, basically, we just fought a load of meaningless battles. In this episode, we're gonna do uh, more meaningless battles. We're gonna part two of meaningless battles, basically. Let's carry on. Yeah, they're basically four people in a crappy circle. So anyway... Right, a beauty five Pokemon. Oh, God's sake! Another one with five Pokemon. Tiggy, you're gonna have to, again, fight through it here. Fight through the crud. There you go, well done. Jeez. Goldeen. Joel, I'm gonna get bored very quickly if they've all got five Pokemon. And I'm sure so will you guys. You will get bored. Just the same as I will. That's, uh, that's Moon gone. And next up it is... Oh, Seeking. That, as always, deserves a Thunderbolt. Epileptic Shock Attack. Of evilness and doom and all that, all that lovely stuff. Uh, another Goldeen. Switch back to Double Kick. One. Two. He's gonna wag his tail at me. Fine. Three. There you go. And last but not least, a Poliwag. Another Poliwag, level 27. One. That's enough. And you're gone. So, oh, Tiggy grew to level 47. Very nice indeed. We won the contest with the sister. Am I lost? No. You have lost. Anyway, Beast is next. I do like Sun, but I don't like to be tanned. We'll go to sleep in like. I don't know, a full radiation suit or something. Two Pokemon, that's how that's much better. Level 30, uh, Goldeen. Beast level 46. Strange Force shoving. And that's a win for the beast. Next up, we're seeking. Uh, let's give it strength as well and see how much damage it takes off. All of it! Lovely. Well done, Beast. We won the contest with the sister. Dizzy water around. You're next. Ugh. Please tell me you haven't got many Pokemon, please. Three. It's sort of alright, I guess. Star use up first. Come on the beast. Come on the beast. Come on the beast. Come on the beast. Well, beat Star you fair play to him. One hit KO again. Another star you. That's it. I'm not going to do any leveling off screen or whatever. I'm going to go straight into the next uh, gym leader. I might do leveling after that, but for the next gym leader, I will not be doing leveling for. Because I, personally, I think at this level, I think I can take him. I think I can take him. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll give this a go. Why not? We won the contest with a sister, yay! Tired. Good for you. Okay. Yeah, folks, we've come to the end of the route. Well, we haven't actually. We've just come to the end of the uh, area. Now we have to go left. I'm gonna go Ice Beam on you. And beat you. Okay, with the edit critical, but still beat you. Right, let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's two trainers. Oh god, I got a fight and then I got a fight a trainer. Level th ooh, level 35. Beast, I'm gonna replace you with Paris for this match because Paris will probably have a better chance. Also, he needs to get back some of his health again, and that's gonna get irritating very quickly.
Yay! Lovely health! Oh, I got all of it back! Well, that was nice! Okay, that's the battle that we all care about. Care about. That does happen sometimes, by the way, that, uh, you know, you, you walk in front of someone and a Pokemon battle starts, and then after the Pokemon battle ends, they're like, Wait a minute, you beat that Pokemon! I want to challenge you! Right. Horsey's up first. We're gonna give you... Strength. Give me strength, okay? Beast, you strength. Uh, I didn't mean that sort of strength. Well, tough luck. Another another horsey. Uh, we're gonna go with Elvis, actually, because he hasn't had uh, much leveling. In fact, he's the weakest of our Pokemon right now. Uh, act recklessly. Go on, act, rec act as recklessly as you want, Elvis. Go on. Wind speed. Cedra. Very nice, Cedra. Yeah, making troubles, how we do. Wait, you're not dead? I thought you were dead. There you go, making troubles, how we do it. Making troubles, how we do it. Red. Oh, yeah. Goldeen. Not Goldeen, please. That's like the fifth, third time I've nearly called Horsey Goldeen. And now I called him Goldeen. See, it happens again! Every time I get confused, seriously. It is every time, every time I get confused, it just takes the mick. It just goes, right, he's confused. Let's make him baffle himself because his Pokemon are so high leveled. Damn you, game, I hate you. Right, we win against the shorts, man. Bubble, bubble. Good for you. Right, we're going to switch to Elvis, actually. To take this person on. Many, many people are swimming. I know. You're one of them. Ha ha! Two Pokemon. It's fine by me. Bags up first. Fine by me. I've got Elvis. That's not gonna be fine by you, trust me. Act recklessly. Yes! And a win over the bag. Last but not least, it's a cloister. Very nice. And making troubles how we do it. Ow. What was that? I don't even know what that is, but it's hurting. Badly. Elvis! Oh! Making troubles, how we do it. He's gonna use withdraw. I'm not feeling confident. Come on, Elvis. Come on, Elvis. Yes! Elvis survives with one HP remaining. Elvis is a god. And now, look at that. Apart from his special stat, every single one of his stats is above 100. Well done, Elvis. C. C the C. Right. We're going to put Epe in now. Mainly to protect the beast. Not beast. Elvis. Jeez. Getting everything wrong today, aren't I? Do, 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 do. You're up next. It's I Who Come Sanatorium Twins Island. I know what the hell you're on about, if I'm honest. Right, three Pokemon. Seizure's up first. We've got Epe. He has Drill Peck. You have Death. I guess. Okay. Horsey now. So you brought Cedra in first, and now you're bringing in a horsey. If once, wouldn't it be better for it to be the way around? For the horsies to do a little bit of damage, maybe lower my stats, and then attack me with Cedra after that? Instead of putting horsey afterwards? Why don't you put horsey first? And last one, it's another Cedra. Right. You, you, you missed takedown. Well done, Epe, you missed takedown. You didn't miss it then. Well done, Epe. Little bit of recoil damage, but nothing that we can't handle. So, Epe wins, and we win against the sister. Hey, you wait a minute. Why? 
What is it? I've heard there is a stalactic, stalactitic cave underground, the Twin Island. Yeah, there probably is. And speaking of Twin Island, here we are. There's one more trainer we have to fight, and that's over here. Uh, Elvis, I know you're nearly like dead over there, but I'm a plump fish floating in the waves. Good for you. Ha! <laughs> you call yourself fat. You're not fat, hun. You're not fat, lovely. Anyway, Sea King. We got Epe, so we've got nothing to worry about. Especially that he didn't survive a drill peck. So we win! We win the contest with the sister. Okay, that's the end of the route, folks. That's it. Now, time to do some actual battling. Welcome back to Viridian City. Oh yeah, it's like, what the hell are we doing here? Well, something you may not have known at the start of the uh, Let's Play is that there is actually a gym here. However, it is it was in it was unaccess ugh, unaccessible or inaccessible because apparently the gym leader wasn't there. But now he's here, so we can go and fight him. See, that old man there would be blocking the entrance, but once you get seven badges, you can now get it. Here we go. Oh god, not more of these things. Ooh, items! You can get items at this gym? Brilliant! Uh, this is going so slowly! Uh, spinning your head right round, baby, right round. So our first opponent is a karate man. He has a mat choke, level 38. We've got Epe, level 46. He's got drill peck, which should knock him out in one shot. And it does. Very nice. Next up, a mat chop. This calls for Jeff. Because mat chop isn't as strong and doesn't deserve a flying type move. However, let's see how much damage Slash can do. Critical, but didn't finish him off. I'm disappointed that it couldn't finish him off. Punch him in the face! That'll finish him off. Yeah. Do 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 Another match choke. We'll keep Jeff in, why not? Jeff! Flamethrower! Gone! Critical hit with a flamethrower. Well done, Jeff. We won the contest with Karateka. Well done. And now as you can see. We can't go anywhere. We cannot not actually go past that bit. So there must be somewhere else we can go. Well, yes there is. There are two ways we can go. See, so we can't go that way. We can go down here, or we can go up here. We're gonna go up here, get this item. A vigor piece. Right, you're next. The winning method of resistant trainer is out of the ordinary. Choice words from a tamer. He's got a Rhyhorn, level 43, very high levels. Luckily we've got Drill Pecked Epe. Wow, that did no damage. Of course it didn't. What am I on about? It's part rock. A bleeding idiot sometimes. Right, I'm gonna bring in the beast. Why? Well, why not? Right, he's gonna go for Fury Attack. That's gonna do a little bit of damage to uh, Beast. But nothing Beast can't handle. Hydro Pump Attack! That will finish him off big time. Strongest warp move in the game against something that's rock and ground. Four times effective, you can't argue with that. Beast gains some experience with that as well. So we beat the Tamer. Right. Should we do another one? Yeah. It's only one more battle, 
It's not like he's gonna be much, you know. Okay! He's a tamer! Two Pokemon! Good. That's what I like to see. A Sand Slash first up. Going against Depe. Let's try Beak. Nope. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Alright, let's try Beak again. Finish him off! Epe levels up, level 47. Very nice for Epe. Right, and Pipel. What the hell? I've never even heard of Pipel. A oh yeah, of course, the Doug Trio, isn't it? Ugh. I just haven't fought a Pipel, a Pipel, for ages. So it's nice seeing Doug Trio back. And there he goes. Okay, folks. Uh, ooh, Beast leveled up. Level 47. Wow. Well done, Beast. Okay, folks. We're going to go for a break here. I'm going to uh, heal up my team. And I'll see you back for the next part of Pokemon Green. See you then.